Hello everyone, this is Sunil here and in this session we're going to be talking about how to start, how to create a new business object. So let's get started. So just go ahead and create, uh, let's say BO, uh, right, okay, so I don't know, let's just change the name, let's say new BO, right, so to finish, then we just created a, a business object, just open it and now as you can see here, uh, there are many different options like you have a designer and one that is object studio where you will be creating most of your business objects and uh, there is a process studio where you will be creating your process so um, in processes where uh, this is where you'll be defining all your business rules basically anything that is related to a particular application uh, like uh, you know like any kind of interface um, anything that you are trying to automate uh, let's say any particular desktop based application or any kind of particular application okay right so that's what basically an uh, objective in the process studio you define the business rule uh, let's say the business rule um, if this is a particular requirement let's say x and x is a requirement which gets um, uh, it meets uh, when you move towards certain direction if uh, y gets satisfied if um, like that so that's kind of uh, example right so that's what a uh, process studio pro the uh, business object is right now here you'll be creating your vb thing like uh, for example, Blue Prism provides a lot of different things, a lot of ready-made VB things. So some of them we've already discussed like Microsoft Excel VBA, like file-based uh, management uh, stuff, which you can always import uh, your objects uh, to when you start working. So for example, Excel one, uh, Excel one you can always import and start working. Now this is the studio interface and this is how you will be interacting with other applications the application modeler as you can see here which is the important thing here you go ahead and create define a process and you can see the four different type of things and um, so you can see here like these are the different options that are Java based browser based uh, mainframe windows right so this is basically the interface right and you identify each and every element of that application that you will be using and automate it and then accordingly you will have different stages here so you can see here write stage read stage block stages and all, all of it on the left hand side whatever you see so we have seen some uh, similarity in the process studio as well right so I think you're familiar with some of it. Now we'll be going through the other things in this uh, session. We'll try to see some other stuff. How do you read, write and other stuff, right? So, so basically write, uh, read, navigate, navigate using which you can navigate and um, to different stages, right? So <coughs> you can use your mouse and how to um, doing it with other courses and all that right so you will have new stages and you'll be assigning some weight for that particular let's say you are waiting for some particular element to take some action and this is how you will assign the weight to uh, the particular element so just it will wait for certain amount of time and then it will execute the action so that's the thing and then you have uh, seen collection data item which we have already used earlier in the process studio so it's uh, nothing new it's an old concept and anchor you know i think pretty much most of it right so this is the read write link right uh, let's do something let's uh, um, just one second so what we'll do is let's say let's just take a basic example and um, just i don't want to complicate things let me just take a very simple example and i will just uh, walk through it and i'll try to demonstrate something so in the last session we have seen how like in the notepad stuff like how it's done uh, which is nothing but a desktop based application 
um, how we can open it launch it and close it right you know how to uh, write some of the basic stuff the most important thing is how you're interacting from the process studio through the object studio right how you're sending the value and how you're passing back the values right so those are the stuff that we are uh, talking about and the output is very important um, uh, what we'll do is we'll take a very basic stuff uh, let's say the calculator and I will show you how you can work on it right so it's a very basic thing and how you can identify the elements in an accurate way and how you can assign the values dynamically and statistically and how you can uh, pass on the value from process to do through the to the objects I mean how you can do it right so as I told you before like starting on working on any of the desktop based application right the first thing that you want to do is obviously you will go to your object studio right and once you open your object studio you just see three pages by default right um, the initiate cleanup action now uh, since you wanted a desktop based application whatever you will be doing here is op uh, like open the application modeler first now let me just open the application modeler and um, then just name it right so like go with whatever name then just uh, we want window based right so my application is launched from executable so we'll go just go with uh, this one right so uh, like that's the best thing to do you have an exe file and then when you use it um, then that opens the whole thing so that's normally the best thing to do right so uh, normally for desktop based applications we use this thing so let's uh, and before going ahead I would like to give some other overview also on uh, what happened like a real-time scenario what happened um, we're interacting with an application right so obviously you cannot interact with any application normally and that in the enterprise world right when you're working in a live environment you need access to the particular object I mean you need access to particular application right you need that user ID you need the password so there will be one team which we call as the provisioning team right so you can call it as the station team which will be working closely uh, with the application owner right let's say for example I am going to automate some of the application with finance team which finance team is holding now finance team is having a desktop based application that I want to automate they use it day by day to run some of the uh, files produce some results some financial calculation which uh, they wanted to store in some folder that will be further used by some other team so pretty much the manual stuff they are doing now they wanted to automate it completely right so we have to get hold of that particular exe file all right the exe file that they were using what we need is uh, basically i mean to get hold of the provisioning team that will provide access to that exe file provisioning team right let's say um, application and once we have that uh, thing then we can start working on so that that's what i was uh, telling you on how you can once like once you have done it how you can access and start working on it right so let's uh, i will also let you know how like through the requirement how you get the requirement basically and how once you start working how and where you will be uh, where there will be different objects like pdd then there will be uh, sgd documents different thing for creating and all of that right so thanks